Well, we all know it's supposed to be about the journey, not the destination. Well, tell that to someone who's on a long flight and you're guaranteed to find weary travelers wishing they could just fast forward the journey part and get right to where they're going. So today we're looking at travel comfort, specifically on those long haul flights where you're crammed into the plane, breathing recycled air, along with hundreds of other strangers. So here to help us, travel journalist Onika Raymond. Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm good. This is good timing for me. I'm about to take off to Sri Lanka at the end of the month. It takes a day and a half to get there. It's oh a goodness. long flight. Ooh, especially from this side of the world. All right, first of all, you've got to start with it even before you leave, right? Where to pick your seat? Yes, so I actually have a website for you that will blow your mind. Okay. It's called SeatGuru.com, and I like to think of it as kind of a cheat sheet for airplanes and airlines. So what basically happens is you log onto the site, there is a list of all the different plane models from all the different carriers, and you can go on and select and take a look at which seats are good, which seats are bad, which ones you should be avoiding. And having a, a good seat on the plane is so important for your comfort because if you're spending, say, 14 hours, yeah on this metal tube, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable. But a lot about where you sit is who you're sitting beside. Absolutely. And it can't tell you that. No, it cannot. You have to leave that up to chance, but that's the fun part of travel, isn't it? Is there a place that you like to sit on the plane for long haul flights? I do, funny that you ask that. So if I am sitting, if I'm on a long haul flight, usually it's on a big plane, and you have the seats by the windows, and then you have a middle aisle. Now I love, because I like to get up mm -hmm. all the time, I like to walk around, it's very important for circulation and just to stave off boredom. But I like to sit on the aisle seat of that middle row okay. of seats. why? Because I can get up really easily and go to the bathroom if I need to. And also, I usually travel alone and many others travel with a partner. Ah. So if I sit beside a couple, they'll never ask me to get up. They'll always, the person in the middle yeah. will always ask their partner oh, to get on on tip. their side. I always ask for nearer to the front of the plane because I assume that they, even if they're going to run out of food, they're less likely to do it at the front. <laughs> is it better to sit closer to the front than the back? You know what? It actually is better to sit at the back. Really? Yes. A lot of people avoid the back. They don't want to sit next to the bathrooms. Um, they don't want to be next to the galley or the kitchen. I love it because those seats tend to get filled up last. Oh. A lot of people don't pick their seats nowadays, which I find really strange. Oh. Um, and when they do, they choose them or they select them towards the front. And typically, airlines, and of course, depending on the airline, they have different policies, but many airlines load the planes from the front first. Right. So I like to kind of buck that trend, sit towards the back. More likely to get an empty seat beside, yes. beside you, which is like the golden ticket. It's the golden ticket. Okay, apparently we should also pay attention to the model of the plane that we're flying in. Why does this matter? You should do. So the A380 is one of the newest planes. It's also one of the largest. So I like to sit on a larger plane purely because that means I have more space. Uh, the A380 is a double-decker plane, I believe, and I like to sit up top because they actually have larger compartments uh, that are under the window. Hmm. So where and when possible, I look at the model of the plane. I love flying on newer planes for obvious reasons. They're more spacious, they're nicer, they're cleaner, and it just adds to my comfort level when I'm doing long-haul flights. All right, before people board, you advise asking a flight attendant uh, for an empty row right at the gate. I are, do. do. Sometimes they get annoyed when you ask this question. You know what? It is totally worth the benefit that it yields. So okay. I make it a practice. I mean, I select my seat beforehand. I usually check in before I get to the airport. I travel with only carry-on. But when I get to the gate, I hand over my boarding pass and I say, hey, you know, can you, can you hook me up? Like, what's going on with the plane? I know that most people have already checked in at this point. So is there an opportunity for me to sit somewhere else that's not as busy? And, oh, I love that tip. All right, compression socks yes. are ugly but are friends. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about function and not necessarily about fashion. So there's nothing worse than getting off the plane and having swollen ankles, swollen feet, swollen joints. So compression socks really aid in, well, compressing <laughs> your, uh, your joints and whatnot so that you don't have any, any issues any with swollenness swell. or sw swelling. All right, what's your favorite tip for traveling uh, long haul? Because you travel a lot. I Mika. do travel a lot. So one of my personal favorite tips is obviously to load up, charge up all of my devices, bring my reading device, my, my Kindle, and so on and so forth. And also, I try not to eat a lot before I get on the plane because I don't want to have any tummy issues ah. on a 15-hour flight from Toronto to Hong Kong. 
And time of day, do you prefer to fly day or night? Because sometimes you have a choice. Yes. I typically prefer to fly overnight uh, so that I can sleep and wake up in my destination feeling, well, somewhat refreshed. All good tips. Monika, <laughs> thanks so much. I can't wait to check on your Instagram where you're headed off to. Yeah, yeah. lots and lots of different places over the summer, so make sure you follow me. We always learn so much when you're here. Thanks, Monika. Thanks.